Hello from Pastor Ken in Hong Kong. How are you doing today? It is February 18th. It is the day that people are praying for a Chinese uh, church and Jesus in Hong Kong. So please pray for the Chinese church and Jesus in Hong Kong here in Hong Kong. Uh, pray for us that God will continue to bless and extend his mercies. Um, there's just so many things I want to do. And I went to the doctor today and he gave me a little bit of good news. He said, uh, Ken, a few weeks ago, you had this um, potential for gangrene to be on your foot. But now the gangrene is dry, as he's phrasing it, and that if it keeps healing, that there is no gangrene and you're going to just heal, 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 no more c cutting, no more amputation. So I left today feeling the best I have uh, because uh, I got some good news and another extension. Um, it's very interesting. I told the nurse earlier this week that I hope that I get some good news so that I can um, watch the presidential primary elections in America. They will have one on Sunday here our time, Sunday morning here time, or our time, and on Wednesday evening here our time will be the results of the primary in South Carolina and in um, Nevada. And um, the cool thing is, is here it is on Thursday uh, in Hong Kong, Wednesday night in America, and um, the Lord's given me some new visions of things I want to do, and uh, it's a lot better. Matter of fact, my mother was telling me today, you're thinking a lot better, and you're it's a lot better for you to be um, worrying and wondering about a, a future where you have amputation and maybe even death in a very short time versus the Lord inspiring you to keep trying new projects to bless and encourage many people. Okay? Um, so anyway, here we get started. I want to first read Psalm 29. And my voice isn't very good because I'm still um, dealing with a little bit of uh, cold, but I'll sing it to you. Psalm 29. Now, I didn't create this song. It was created by my friends many, many years ago when I was a little boy. They wrote this song, and it goes like this. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The glory of God thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful and full of majesty. Okay, and it goes on and on, but the first verse I've never forgot. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And the reason I'm singing this to you is the Lord's given me some interesting ideas. He uh, gave me an idea for something special we can do for our little church group on Good Friday, and I've talked to Pastor Philip, and hopefully we can get that organized. Um, he is giving me a desire to do a concert um, in April, and I'm trying to uh, put down the date, sometimes be sometime in middle of April, the end of April, after Easter break, and um, to do a concert and to do some fundraising and for a, a charity. So I've just talked to one lady, and I'm going to see her tomorrow, and maybe we can do the concert and do the charity that way, or there's another way I want to go. But so far, um, I have potentially a harpist, who is a beautiful harpist who will be in our concert, and I want to do some playing and singing, and who, who knows, maybe I can have the, the Hong Kong All-Star Band singing with me some of our great key songs like Jesus in Hong Kong and Yeso Oine and the new one, um, Add Oil. Um, there's so many things I want to do and and uh, the cool thing is, is the Lord's going to keep giving me opportunities. Uh, there's also a group of people in America who may be able to give me some more Bibles so that we can bless and encourage a lot of people. So pray that these new things that are coming up, that will they'll just open and develop and will bless many people in Hong Kong and throughout Asia uh, through our efforts. Not only my efforts, but the efforts of many people working hard to follow God's will and lift up and encourage many people around Hong Kong and the world.
So when I sing that song, Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. We're giving our glory and our strength to Him and saying, Lord, use us. We're worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And in the beauty of holiness means that we put everything we have, all of our desires, everything we want, we put them on the altar and say, Lord Jesus, please take it and please make it something beautiful, something good. Because you take all my confusion and you help me to, to not only understand, but to, in the past tense, understood why things happened and to be at peace with you. All I had to offer you was brokenness and strife, but he made something beautiful out of my life. Let's sing that song. Something beautiful, something good. All my confusion, he understood. All I had to offer him was brokenness and strife, but he made something beautiful out of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making everyone in Hong Kong beautiful by your life that you give to them, your spirit, your strength, your ways, and your righteousness. All old things are passed away. All things are new. And we can begin again. Bless everybody. Encourage them. Somebody who feels they can't begin again. That their physical condition has limited them. <coughs> that um, their body won't respond. And that they're in trouble. The Lord's going to give you peace. Show you how to have great fresh ideas. To live and be a part of God's community. Make huge difference. Somebody with headache. Uh, some other people with colds and headaches. From the colds, the Lord's going to heal you, give you the rest, show you how to live. Um, you're not going to have migraines. You're not going to be so under the gun from people being nasty to you that you won't be able to make it. The Lord's going to help you overcome. You're going to be okay. You're his blessed child. You're his blessed daughter. Jesus loves you and is going to take care of you. You're going to be healed. Like a song I wrote many years ago, I am healed, I am healed. I am healed. Are you healed? Yes. Are you healed? Yes. Are you healed? I truly have a father. I truly have my father. You can tell I'm feeling a little drowsy right now. Jesus has a great plan for you. Uh, ankles. Painful ankles. You just hit it. You've got potential maybe there's a problem the Lord's going to touch your ankle and miraculously have you start to feel strength and peace in it and you're not going to have to go to the doctor nothing wrong with going to the doctors but doctors can be really negative in not think about the healing but the practicality of the problem and how to solve it so that's good but Jesus still wants to heal you lift you up and encourage you we bless what you're doing Lord Jesus in our life Thank you for encouraging us and lifting us up. There's a young man and a young woman. They're getting married, and there's a couple that have been married for a while. The Lord says, I haven't forgotten you. I'm going to lift you up to minister and break through in many different situations throughout Asia where the body of Christ is being questioned and where you may not know that you're acceptable in the body of Christ. And the Lord Jesus is going to use you to lift up people and to love them. There's nothing wrong with uh, hi to everyone and uh, blessing them as long as it doesn't go too far or it's not right. But it's always right when you're just encouraging and you stop there, not do anything else to try to inhibit that person's life. Lord, we bless you and thank you for all that you give. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. See you soon. 
um, from some of the medicine I'm taking, as I've closed my eyes and been singing, I've started to lose consciousness. So I don't want to fall asleep on my video. God bless you. Jesus is doing some great things. I hope and pray that we can do the concert, that we can get these things, the Bibles from America, and that many more new opportunities will rise. I want to live and love and encourage many, many people in Hong Kong and China and all over Asia. God bless you. See you soon.